everybody. My name is Troy Nelson, and I am here with Spooky Ruben, and I am sort of guest hosting, uh, as we will say, for Spooky's Single of the Week series, and today we are going to talk about a song that came out in the early 2000s, and it's from the album Bed. It's called Hey Now, Behave Now. This is the tune, the single of the week. I first uh, became aware of Spooky Ruben in 1995 when I was a senior in high school, which makes me 74 years old, actually, if you do the math. And I love this song, love the album Bed and Breakfast. It was a double album. Yes. Yeah, so but this is packaged together. Mine came each one CD separately. Right. And yeah. I, so what happened is later on, I think about six years later, I re-released re re it independently on my Hi-Hat Recordings record mm -hmm. label. Um, and we decided to package it as a two together. So it's, this is in the, in the music business, this is known as a two CD. Two CD. That is uh, and old it's, school. And it's got the Japanese style kind of... Yeah, I love that cardboard fold over thing that I had to fight for to get because they didn't they don't know how to make these things in the US anyway that's great I love that yeah. uh, so the song Hey Now Behave Now mm -hmm. yeah, I know that you worked with some different people on different songs it wasn't just one producer or one engineer you had different people helping you with bed and breakfast um, who who recorded this song with you so I recorded Hey Now, Behave Now with uh, my friend John McIntyre. Mm. Um, he played drums mm -hmm. and he played and he engineered, mixed, uh, engineered, played drums and produced the album and mixed and mixed the songs. Sorry, John McIntyre from Tortoise. Yeah, Love that's right. That band. So they are real drums. It is real yeah, drums. Yeah, with your music, I don't know if it's a drum machine or drums because when you do use a drum machine, sometimes it just sounds like real drums. But it, he's actually playing drums on the oh, yeah. track. That's great. <clears throat> There was something, there's something about the song Hey Now, Behave Now that sort of reminds me of your song Crystal Cradle from Modes of Transportation, Volume 1. Uh, there's just so, some kind of feeling behind it, but I think it also has something to do with your usage of, I don't know if it's a xylophone, or what is that? It's like a mallet instrument. What? Yeah, actually, it's, um, it's a percussionist instrument called the vibraphone, and, um, and John played that too, I oh. forgot to mention. So he played the, the mallets on there, and I should also mention... Another guy from Tortoise, Doug McCombs, played the bass in this song too. An amazing, both you know, incredible musicians. How 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 does Tortoise and Spooky Ruben cross paths? I mean, two totally different artists. Right. Um, you know what? I was a fan of theirs right from the beginning, and I, I think I, I, I'm even in the early days when they came out. I I think I saw them at the Rivoli in Toronto mm -hmm. when they first came out, which is a really small club and. Um, you know, I've just been a fan, and I, I kind of started talking to John at, at his shows, and then I was like, hey, man, like, you know, so it was great, because what happened is, after I did this song, I, a couple of years later, I worked, I, 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 we did another session in the, in his studio, which was much longer, actually, we did like six more songs, um, and they ended up, actually, on this album, um, called Alone at the Zoo, mm -hmm. and um, there's a there's so there's about six songs that I did with John and Doug and also Jeff Parker of Tortoise played on these six songs and it's mixed with some other sort of raw demos. It's a sort I've, of I haven't yeah, seen this one. It's what, a bit of an odd album, but oh cool. What year was this? Do you think? So this came out or in do you remember, 2000. I, I think it says it on there. 2003. I, I'm I, the older I get, the years I, I can't. <laughs> I know. Say more like. Was it two thousand six or you know twenty sixteen? Oh, these know. are numbered. So, yeah, it's a it's a limited edition CD. So how I've does got, one get one? Are to, they still <laughs> available? They are. Yes. So I printed like nine hundred of them, and I still have like not that many, but I still have some. So if you go to my website, you can order this. This one's number seven hundred and ninety two of nine hundred. Wow. Okay. Which means nothing. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. <laughs> uh, any other particular information about Hey Now, Behave Now that people should know about before they all get a take um, a listen? 
You know, I think one thing I was... See, I thought you were going to ask me about the lyrics, but you didn't, so I'm just going to go there and tell... <laughs> tell <laughs> basically... What is, the, <clears throat> what is yeah. the deeper meaning behind the lyrical content of Hey Now, Behave Now? Thank you for that question. Absolutely. Um, the deeper meaning is, I think what I've noticed in a lot of my lyrics is that I have different... I have certain recurring themes... And in this song, Hey Now, Behave Now, it's the, the question is like, um, you know, when adults say, you know, behave, then you, st you have to wonder, well, are you, how are you behaving? And so, because I think I've always, I, th I think I still, <clears throat> even though I'm, I'm a really old person, I'm still, I still question this idea of like, you know, what makes someone an adult? You know? mm -hmm. And then when you look at, because I feel like I understand. I understand the concept of being an old child. Yeah. An older or maturing. Yeah. yeah. Maturing. I understand maturing, but yeah. I think because behaving means you know behave like an adult. But then are adults behaving with like you know these like with the NRA and all these kind of things? <laughs> well, I thought I mean, when I was a kid, I thought adults were a s certain kind of human. And I thought that once I hit a certain age, this would just flip, and all of a sudden I'm I'm an adult. Right. But then I'm getting older too, and I'm like, I kind of feel the same, like as right, I right. did when I was younger. Yes, I've grown up or matured, mm -hmm. and you know, but I I still feel like I well, did when I was it, young. It's also this idea that like you know, they say that you know. Um, you know, when you're once you hit twenty one, then you can start drinking, and then you can do these things. But the things that you're allowed to do once you become an adult are kind of very childish and silly things, mm -hmm. like sitting around in a bar drinking beer, or going to like, you know, a por you know being able to buy a porno. You know what I mean, it's like, is that is that adulthood? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, beer, beer and porno. It's like, so <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. So, and I think, no, because I think, you know, even in these days are old, and I think I've always kind of, I'm always talking about this, I'm always questioning this, like, you know, how, you know, how old am I, and how does it relate to being, uh, you know, living in, yeah. living today? Am I, am I <laughs> behaving and acting like my age, and what does that mean? Right. I don't think it means anything. I think you can be 70 years old and be an eccentric uh, artist and create things and be wild and there's nothing wrong with that. It's like, no, you're not supposed to do that. You know, you're mm -hmm. supposed to be rocking in a chair, reading the news, like, what? So I like that, I understand. Mm -hmm. So that's one of your reoccurring themes mm -hmm. in your songs is... Um, so, it, so actually, so the line, in, so I, I mean, I actually talk in this song more specifically, um, there's a couple of lines where I talk about um, gun rights, so I say, it's a song. so I say, I say the line, uh, uh, when it comes to kids with guns, we walk away without guilt. And so, it's, I'm talking about this idea that, um, you know, how are, how are adults taking care of their children and in some ways aren't the children behaving more like what you would consider an adult yep so it's this that sort of contrast it's interesting because some kids do act more mature and grown up than adults some kids even more than their own parents I've seen it I'm not one of them <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's nice to sit with you, Spooky Ruben, and the song Hey Now, Behave Now is out now, and tune in next Friday, also, here on SOTW. Uh, I think I'll be joining you again, if that's okay. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs>